God, I don't know how to. Have... <sighs> I've forgotten how to play this game. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Our very first mission is uh, a T Lam mission. Okay, fine. That's whatever. I just remember them being very boring. Uh, T Lambs. There we go. We got eight T Lambs. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Sailor Man, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we supposed to go? Did anybody read the briefing? Somebody should brief the captain, because I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I know it's a T lamb strike, I just didn't read where. Where are we going? Guam. No, that's our. That's friendly. Where are we supposed to go? Sink warships. Let's read the first paragraph. New enemy operations by hitting warships in the port and port facilities. Chantal. Oh boy. Geography time. Where's Chantal? There it is. We found it. Okay. Ooh, okay, let's check. Um, Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, and then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Let's On sonar, new contact bearing three five five, designated Sierra one. It's still a little bit of a robot voice, isn't it? Ring ship for ultra quiet. Right. Yeah, Tetster, I agree. I think 2017 was probably the most fun we had with Cold Waters. Because it was fresh and new and everything was fun. Cool. Oh, wow. Somebody over here is going active on us. All right. What's our total water depth? Zero, two. Four, designated Sierra God, where two. do we see total water depth at? Oh, fuck. All right. We're just going to do a snapshot. Snapshot tube two bearing zero point two. I'm going to do a snapshot tube one bearing north. Okay, we're going to come left 10 degrees. Down 10 degrees. Where's, where's total water depth at? I don't know where to see that. How deep is the ocean? My depth is 600 feet. What's what's the depth below the keel? I forget where that's at. I hear active. Oh, shit. Did they shoot at us? Bastards. Damage control. Weapons. Oh, here it is. One, three, one, three feet. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I'm trying to get away from this torpedo over here. Sierra 1. Alright, so one torpedo found escort. a target. Passing 700 feet. Alright, we're going to level off here at 700 feet. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing 0 1 1. Ba, 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 da. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Oh no. Here it goes. On fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, weapons reacquired, that's good. Is there a difficulty setting? Yeah, we didn't change that. Shoot. Can I do it during Con the mission? Sonar, noise maker bearing Options. zero, one, 
Three. Uh, difficulty, difficulty, realistic. That's good. Okay. Realistic. Gun, fire yeah. control, weapon countermeasure. I just want to make sure it wasn't on easy. All right, so we got to steer tube two. Tube tube's messing up. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. There we go. Tube two's messing up. Hey, Smoggy, how's it going? Oh, Tyrepo, I got to make you a moderator on stream Gone elements. Sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing zero one zero. Contact breaking up. All right, so tube two. Let me kind of do this. Stalker modded game. This is stock. Yeah. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Hey, tube two found him. Tube two found him. Thought we could minimize that, but nope. Make it count how many times we lost the wire. Uh, well, we lost the wire on the one that exploded because <laughs> it blew up. Oh, do you guys want the cam moved? Uh, let's Call see if I can do that. Tube one ready. It's kind of weird. Let's see how that looks. Uh, <laughs> it looks like the microphone boom is really long. Oh, man. Let's move me back a little bit. I don't know. I think I'm just too big. Like, I need to shrink my photo or something I don't know yeah the microphone boom oh I can I can change that hold on watch this I can do this right 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 there okay oops that's a little bit better okay still vessel nearby Still some active sonar out there. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, two, So he's seven. running away. Let's see what he locked on to. He's Con, a lock on. fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Let's do that. Try this active homing a little bit. Yeah, we can see CO2 right there. Fire control, weapon con sonar. All right, Sierra it's a Ludo. Is classified as escort. Oh, we got a little sonar buoy off our port bow. Starboard bow. Let's go 10 degrees left away from that. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Zero, right, two, so he's done. Nine. And we're done. A Luda and a Zhang Wei. I'm not sure how to say that. I think the J in China is, doesn't sound like a J. It sounds like something else. But I don't remember. All right, let's make sure the torpedo tubes are loaded again. So we got that. Oh, we got to do the whole... Ugh. This is the tomahawk launch. So I'm gonna just, if I remember correctly, we can launch all eight at, at the very start, and then we gotta run like hell. All right, twenty-five thousand yards. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Battle stations. Contact. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ooh, it's shallow. Where's my target? There's my target. Let's turn this bad boy around. Come left to one zero eight 
Helm, I. Let's come up periscope depth. Four, five, eight, dive, I. It's total water depth. 174 feet. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Shangway. Okay, thank you, sailor man. Shangway. Fish Friday. Ah, oh, I can't eat fish right now. I, I had so much fish on Wednesday that I almost threw up. I almost got sick. And uh, I thought, I was like, why did I eat so much fish? I wasn't like at a party or anything. I just, I was really freaking hungry. <laughs> I'm on this damn diet. It's screwing in my head. I'll go days where I'm not hungry at all and I have to remember to eat. And there's days like Wednesday where I overate. I must have ate 3,000 calories that day. Yeah, I ate approximately two pounds of fish. Which I think is like three fish, four fish. Yeah. They're fillets, so it's hard to tell. But, oh, my stomach was so upset. I almost, like I said, I almost threw up. It was really bad. I, I, I don't think I've ever done that, or if I had, it's been like decades. But I really overate on Wednesday. So, yeah, no more fish for me for a while. Like today, what did I have? I had some chicken breast. Um, oh, and then I. I treated myself to some hash browns. I have this air fryer where I can cook things like hash browns in there, so I made some hash browns. But I was that was one serving of hash browns, a reasonable amount. But fish and chicken have been my diet for the past pretty much the whole summer. Yeah, fish and chicken. Just the meats. Fish calories don't count. I know, but still I almost felt like throwing up. Because I had ate so much food. And I, the thing that blew my mind was I didn't have a reason. I wasn't like, I didn't go out to eat. So that's not an excuse. I wasn't at a party or socializing. I was sitting at home watching TV. We were watching movies, you know, with my dog. And I was just, nom, 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 nom. Next thing I know, I ate the whole damn bag of fish fillets, which is, it's like a two pound bag. And I was like, holy fuck. Now, I set myself up for failure because I cooked the whole bag at once. Should not have done that because I had no intention of eating the whole bag. But I was lazy and I was going to cook the bag, eat some of it, and then save some for later. And I ended up, over the course of the evening, eating all two Con pounds of health. fish. Steady course. Yeah. Not, not healthy. Not healthy. And I paid the price the next day. Uh, I was in pain. Two, two, one. I it hurt. Two, two, two. I'm just shooting the missiles at stuff. This is basically ringing, ringing the dinner bell for the PLA. Come and get your sea wolf. Okay. We are cavitating. Yes, we are. We're going to need a decoy. Followed by an ad cap. Total water depth. Okay. We're going to run right at this Come guy. Right to one, one, two. There's an there's active sonar. We're going to run right down its throat. Con, helm, steady course. Con, dive at one, zero, zero feet, dive by. Oh, hey, Dark Ace, thanks for 33 months. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's right, HT1. We are clearing datum. We're getting the hell out of here. Didn't know this game. Do you still have torpedoes to reload with? Yep. We have in the weapons menu here, 18 more ad caps, four more decoys, and four missiles. And uh, I'm probably going to load a missile here. This is our, these are our tomahawks here. Con, drop your room. Two, Passing one, the ready. coastal cities of Hain Chin Men and Jean Show and Scooby Doo. Uh, other places. Oh, that one missed. I wonder if we'll get credit for that one. 
We're really close to the bottom here. Con maneuvering, making turns for. Can we three, just go? Five <gasps> knots. The reason why that worked is the active sonar had not detected us yet. Had we been detected, we would have had to fight. Big brain. Big brain moves. All right, so we're out here now. Let's see if the old Admiral's got us another mission here. Intelligence indicates enemy plans to reinforce its invasion force at Hong Kong. A convoy of supply ships believed to be leaving Shantou soon. That's where we just were. You must intercept and destroy the convoy before the landing of additional troops. Okay. So from Shantou to Hong Kong. Where is Hong Kong at? Oh, no. It's right there. Shoot. Well, we're probably not going to intercept that unless they come out here into deep water. Oh, 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 yes, come, come to Papa. Oh, come on down. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes. All right. Um, that's fine. Let's give us three torpedoes. We're going to do a, a weapon. Um... We have a lot of missiles we got to get rid of, so... We're going to shoot some missiles. Okay, sonar contact bearing 008, designate Sierra 1, contact of interest. Our depth is periscope depth, we're heading 277, speed 5 knots. It is a light breeze, strong surface ducts, we want to get the hell out of that. Very strong thermal layer at 140 feet, that's where we're headed, boys. On sonar, new contact, that's bearing ship for ultra quiet. We're headed. Con sonar new contact bearing zero zero two. Let's head below the layer and see if two. um see if con we can maintain sonar contact. New contact bearing three five six designated Sierra three. Con sonar new contact bearing three five two designated Sierra four. Con trash master feet. says I love watching you play cold waters. Thanks man. Yep. It feels good to be able to play Cold Waters again. <laughs> All right, so our depth is 180 feet, 40 feet below the layer, 190 feet. We ran into around 200 feet, perfect. This is right where we want to be. Five knots to nowhere, maintaining contact. And we are in what's called the shadow zone. They can't see us if you're right below the lair. So this is a good place to be. Now we're just waiting on Sonar to finish classifying those contacts. Colorado says, oh my, the skipper found the steel tubes. That place ship shouldn't go. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's see. Does cold waters give you an idea of what subs being used by Russia fleet? Oh no. Now, if you want to simulate something like that, you would go to um, command. There's a game called command um, naval operations. Yeah. And it's expensive. It's like an $80 video game, but it simulates what you're talking about there. Not this game. Nope. Thrashmaster says, have you ever visited the USS Growler? Oh, oh shit. Hold on a second. Hold on.
All right, that was no joke. A call from Washington, D.C. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but it was nothing. Holy cow, that's hilarious. <laughs> I have new friends, and they are awesome. But that was not one of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about giving me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> I know, right? Sailor Man. When I saw it was from Washington, D.C., I was like, I got to take the call. But it was it was a robo call. Yeah, it was nothing. Yeah, I'm on the big man's uh, speed dial now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, my, my, my life has significantly changed for the better. Like, it's crazy now. Fucking. I'll write a book someday. This is methamphetamine. It's supposed to burn it, but I just swallow it. The thermal layer, yeah. We're waiting on sonar to do their job. Tell me who these are. I mean, that one guy's got active, so he's probably a warship. But there also might be like some commercial vessels in here, too. Why is it a strong surface duct bad for you? It's not really good or bad. It's just strong. I mean, I try not to judge. Let them be who they are, you know? Woo! That's a lot of caffeine. Holy shit. Let's go. Hey, okay, so Sonar's got one guy going to the west. Or that's the east. Yeah. Tell me who they are, Sonar, so we can shoot them. This part of the game you don't have any control over. It would be nice if they had, like, an experience system where the crew got better at its job as it goes along. And I think some mods out there have added that. But in the base game, your sonar team's only as good as they're ever going to be, and it's pretty slow. Yeah. Does Kiev have mounted sonar? Yes. Sure does. Kiev has... Um, ooh. Is it a bullhorn or bull nose? It's one of those two. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Let us consult the Book of Jane. I always keep the Book of Jane within uh, easy distance. Now, the Kiev may not be active anymore, and that would be a problem. Oh, uh, let's go to Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. There's my big book of ships. Look at this. Oh, big book of ships. All the ships. Ugh. I think it weighs like 10 pounds. Uh, all right, Russian Federation. Yeah, the Kiev's not active anymore, so it's not going to be in here, is it? Yeah. That's a shame. You know what? I've got the Jane's Fighting Ships to uh, 1992 downstairs. Maybe on a break I'll go grab it. But I can tell you, it certainly does have uh, ASW sonar. Russia and the Soviet Union, back when they were a thing, put sonars on every surface ship. Whether it was an aircraft carrier or a frigate, everybody got a sonar. Uh, Smoggy says, I'm the man to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe. All right. So we got two ships out there. We don't know what they are. Probably shouldn't. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's do a maneuver. Because we really don't know what range they are. Even though, even though the plots have them at this position, that's not their real location. That's just the best guess. So to help narrow that down, you want to maneuver the ship a little bit. So we're going to do like a, what's our current course? 277. We're going to add 30 degrees to that. We're going to go to 307. Let's just make it 310. Kind of round up. Come right to 310. 310. Hey, 104th with a bullet. 17 months. How's it going, man? Blah, blah, blah. We going deep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 104 with a bullet. He is one of the best uh, DCS pilots I've seen. 
And uh, so I recommend you guys check him out. He's a fellow streamer. He streams DCS. He flies everything. What's your main plane? Would you say bullet? What's what's your favorite plane? I I want to say it's the F-18, but you may be on to the F-16 now. I don't know. I'll let you speak for yourself. You got COVID. What? Oh man. Well, I'm glad you're recovering. Yeah, COVID sucks. I think everybody at this point's had it at least once. I know some people that's had, that have had it twice. Yeah, it's craziness. You're an F-18 guy. Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, I just love the F-18, the systems, Con, especially help. now, and now that course. they've kind of updated them, they've patched them over the years. It's a really easy and fun plane to fly. You know, like if, if somebody was just going to start out playing DCS and they wanted to learn, I would say get the Flaming Cliffs simplified cockpit planes. And then after that, get the F-18. That's a great way to ease yourself into that game. All right, so we got directions. See how this the course change we did kind of gave us courses on every contact? That's great. The real problem is, is we don't have a range. Oh, CR5 just got updated. Okay, so now that there's a white dot there. That's his actual range. Con sonar, Sierra Ooh. 5 is classified as merchant. That's a merchant. So this is the... Um, this is the amphibious Con support sonar, fleet. Sierra one is now we can begin shooting. Escort. Okay. Now we can begin shooting. We're on a good evasion course. Let's see if we can get Con some more sonar, classifications here. Sierra yes. Two is classified as escort. So remember to do that. You know, wait, get that first leg. Give that first leg a good three or four minutes, like we did, and then make a maneuver like we just did and see how they're all kind of coming together now that's because we turned Con sonar sierra three is yeah, classified yeah. as merchant I'm just, I'm just waiting to see if sierra four will update sierra four may be um not part of the fleet okay here we go yeah this is crazy um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to also, we're going to shoot three torpedoes. Oh, Sierra 4 is interesting. Con sonar, Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. Shoot 2-3, two, aye sir. Shoot 2-2, two, two, aye sir. Okay, now we're going to have to speed up to 10 knots. Make turns for and hope One, that we don't lose zero, the wires. Knots, maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for one zero knots. All right, we're gonna wait Con and see sonar, when they contact. get alerted. Sierra five, last bearing zero two five, contact faded. It's actually it's whoa. Come on. There we go. I'm going to push these enable points way out here. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra. Because right now these torpedoes bearing. are running zero, at launch two, depth, which is zero, below the layer. Faded. What's our difference there? Okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, spread. This is the South China Sea campaign, Emperor Zola. Con torpedo room tube five ready. If the whale passes the nine line without permission, is it fair game? No. <laughs> All right, have fun, Tyrepo. Have a great weekend, Tyrepo. Everybody, he is our Finnish moderator. No, uh, I am not going to do that. Matter of fact, this video probably will not go on YouTube. Probably not. I've made up my mind on that yet. But no, all the old videos that have been uh, removed from YouTube will remain removed. Yep. Rip. Yep. The Soviets did employ whale specialists. I know they have a, um, a beluga whale that is trained to, I think, find dolphins, I think. Find dolphins. Find divers. Yeah, yeah. It's either find divers or find submarines. <laughs> Which is an important distinction. But uh, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, beluga whale. 
Time to build up a new repository? Yeah, that's true. We could start over. Absolutely. He's a coming. So the Zhang who or no, uh, how do you say that again? Somebody told me. Let me see if I can find it up here in the comments. Shang Wu. The Shang Wu turned to the right. Kiev. I don't think Kiev had horse straw. They might have. It's big enough. Could have had horse straw. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last Are you bearing, going to keep the zero, VOD up? No, no, no. Two, so uh, VODs on uh, Twitch are no longer a thing. All the VODs will be on YouTube. You guys got to go to YouTube if you want to watch the videos on demand. If you want to watch it live, you watch it here on Twitch. If you want to watch the replay, you go to YouTube and you watch it over there. Uh, did I read the Columbia class report uh, from today? No, not today's. I read the last one, though. What Twitch doing now? Twitch isn't doing anything. Uh, other than playing a lot of ads. Yeah. Rip anybody that's not a member. You guys are going to be watching more ads than uh, the QVC channel. I saw someone earlier said that he had seven ads, and I believe it. He probably did. Oh, last week. Yeah, I did read one recently, so I might be I might have read the one that you're talking about. <laughs> that's true, QVC is one giant ad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good point. I know somebody that enjoys watching QVC because it's live television. You really don't have live TV anymore other than maybe your news channels. You know, everything is scripted now. But QVC is just a bunch of people riffing off the top of their head about a product for 15, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes even longer. And, you know, you get tired, you get exhausted after doing that for three or four hours, even if you're talking about different products. It's hard to do. And so people get a little squirrely on QVC, especially at 1 a.m. when no one's really watching. And they say some crazy shit on QVC. And so he used to love watching QVC. Never bought any products, but loved watching these people on live television, taking phone calls like a radio station, talking to people that bought the product, right? Uh, and just, uh, just riffing poorly, yeah. It's not for me, but I kind of get the appeal. There's a TV show that makes fun of QVC with SNL people. Oh, that's cool. The Weather Channel geek back in the day. Yeah, I used to keep the Weather Channel up uh, all the time just because I didn't want anything else on. And everything else was nuts. So it's interesting how one ship evaded towards us and one evaded away from us. I wonder if this is the new course of the fleet, because our primary target is this Q-I-O-N-G Sha ship, however you say that. Is that Choing Sha? What's the, what's the Q sound in Chinese? Is that a Qi sound? Is it Choing? Choing Sha? QVC and cocaine. If you if you do QVC and cocaine, you're going to charge up your credit card. Don't do that. Uh, so the Q makes the chi sound or cha sound. So it's choing, choing sha. Okay. Look at me learning Mandarin. Are we speaking of Jeff Smith who bought 73 super air dryers? So Jeff, what do you do with all those? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the type of Collins that they would get, yeah. Freaking hilarious. And QVC's been around forever, dude. I remember QVC was one of the channels we got back when we got cable television for the first time in the late 1980s where we lived. Um, we had a cable TV provider come into our county in Central Florida and started like literally running cable down like Main Street and then spicing it off into into homes and stuff and it was like the, it was all the talk of the town it was like that's the thing to have did you get your cable yet 
I mean, can you imagine the world at that time? That's the world that I grew up in. Hell, I was almost an adult by then, actually. No cable television as a kid. We had three channels. Con, fire control, and then the UHF fire. knob had like a hundred channels on this knob, but none of them worked. I, I guess you needed like a special UHF antenna or something. I don't know. But whatever, whatever you needed Con, for UHF to work, control, we did fire. not have that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Dilly says, just got back from my class. No way to find this gentleman that's on cold waters again. Yeah, yeah. Audio cassettes and VHS tapes, yep. My, one of my first jobs uh, was working at a video Con, rental store, and fire. we rented VHS Con, tapes. Lost contact. Sierra, yep. four, last bearing, zero, I remember we had three, this special one, book. Contact faded. Uh, it looked Con, like a photo star, album log bearing, where zero, we kept all five, the adult three. nudie movies. God, and because um, we kept those behind, you know, the, the cabinets, they weren't out on the floor for display reasons. You know, you didn't want kids walking up and seeing all those covers. God, so we would put the control, covers of the VHS that would go on the tape and God, squish it lost and then Sierra, stick it four, into a photo album. Zero, and it was like we had like two one, of these big three ring binder out. photo album books where, you know, adults could come along and say, we'd like to see the book, please. And I'd be like, oh, lost contact. Well, you're a dirty zero, old man, three, okay. Bearing, and then hand zero, them the book. Three, if they asked for the second book, that just made them a picky, dirty old man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's go reload some of these tubes here. Yeah, it was a network video. It was just a privately owned store. Um, I remember the owners, while I was working there, sold the store to someone else who came in and like looked at the books and was like Con sonar, you know, noise maker, you know, we can make a profit out of this zero, or whatever six, they were you know. one like he thought that, that he thought vhs was the future he thought video rental stores was going to make Con him a sonar, mint so he, he bought the store Sierra, two, bearing, zero, did not work six, out one <laughs> yeah i mean i'm sure it worked out for a couple years into the 90s but this i'm talking about this happened in 1986 87 yeah Con, sonar, the heyday of the VHS. On, Sierra, four, and then we had, zero, you guys remember three, high two. definition DVDs? D, the the uh, DVDs came out next, and then HD DVD was the next thing after that. All right, so I think we need to go up and uh, shoot some missiles. Make depth four, so five, do that. Eight, five. HD DVD. Turns four, five knots, maneuvering eye. And then Blu-ray. Yeah, two, HD two, DVD ready. and then Blu-ray came out. I remember those two kind of came out, not exactly the same time, but pretty close to each other. And I remember I was in Best Buy. This is like, when was this? 1997, maybe? 96? And I was like, well, which one do I buy? Do I buy a Blu-ray player yeah, and start Making building my collection of Blu-rays? Or do I buy an not. HD DVD one? And I remember the HD DVD was like, 10 bucks cheaper. Regained contact on it wasn't that zero, much of a price five, difference. Zero, I was like, close four, enough. Six. And I bought, I actually bought, I wish I had it since today. I have bought a HD DVD player and I bought like two movies because the player itself was over a hundred bucks. So two movies was another 50 bucks, you know. And uh, I don't think I ever bought an HD DVD movie after that. Shoot two, six. Aye, sir. All right, we're going to shoot two missiles of that chucklehead. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Oops. Oh. There's our missiles there. Okay. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Alright. Um So while the two while while everyone's reloading, let's go back down below the layer Depth again. One five zero feet die by. I suppose we could watch this missile. Sierra 1, bearing 
CR5 five is five, a high value target is still alive, so that's a problem. That is a problem. All right, let's go ahead and maneuver back to the south, and we'll shoot uh, one more missile up at CR5 and see what happens. Let's go ahead and get back up to periscope depth. Now we've already launched the T Lambs, Tedster. Yeah, we already launched him. Now we're just waiting on the weapons to reload. We do have a helicopter inbound, it sounds like. So we'll see. Make see, turns see how that plays five out. Knots, maneuvering eye. All right, we're up above the layer now. We're vulnerable again. Six knots. All right, we're at launch depth. Let's go ahead and. Uh, we don't we don't have a good solution on him, but we have an idea of where he's at. So we're just going to take that, subtract a couple yards, and just launch in that general vicinity. And we'll let the missile figure it out. Uh, missiles are very good at figuring out where ships are at. Make turns for one. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Maybe we'll load another decoy there. We're no not going to be cavitating, cavitating for long. It's okay. Once we get below the layer, it's not going to matter. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Yep. Matter of fact, we're going to go all the way down. Just Con a water depth here. Nineteen hundred feet. Beautiful. Feet dive by. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. Okay. Make depth one three five zero feet. That's dive good. By. Go ahead to head Make full. There's our gun. missile. There's the helicopter Not looking for us. He probably has a clue now that he sees the missile going by. He's like, oh, they're probably over there. <laughs> he's got to be thinking about where he's going to land. The, pistol, no, the missile Call knows where it is because it knows where it isn't. Ready. That is a fantastic statement. And music video. So we sank all those ships just to get to this one. This one was the one that had all the things. Lost contact. He's Sierra there. Five. Last bearing. Zero. Four. Three. Contact breaking up. A thousand dollars could get you a lot. A thousand dollars today will get you a lot. Oh, that's one dollar. My, my eyesight. <laughs> I thought you said a thousand dollars. Hey, a dollar will still get you a subscription to my Patreon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at me plugging my Patreon like a like a pro streamer. <laughs> I got to write the next uh, sub brief too. Now that I have all this shit behind me, I can focus on writing sub briefs and stuff again. Like we were writing sub briefs anyway. I was just doing it under protest. I'm like, fuck. Right. Con, torpedo room, tube eight ready. Tube eight ready. Uh, Andy says, Jive, great to hear you've been cleared of any wrongdoing. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I have. Dive at one, three, five, to be clear, zero, I was never eight, formally dive, charged, five. but uh, I was definitely investigated for about six months because of a Karen on the internet decided to report me to the authorities. <clears throat> Bastard. And, and the problem is that anybody, I, I said this at the beginning of the stream, that could happen to anybody, which really sucks. There's no stopping that because you want to be able to report people that actually do things that are illegal. You know, you don't want to take that away, but people can abuse that system in a free and open society like we try to have here in the United States. It may not be as free and open as you think it is, but it's, uh, it's certainly attempting to achieve that and so we have these systems in place where you can report on your neighbor and then there's no consequence for being wrong you know but we know for a fact that this one was malicious it was uh, intentional uh, damaging I could go after damages hmm. 
That's true. There was a monetary loss. That's interesting. I should think about that. Yeah, see, right. Now, <laughs> the knuckleheads that uploaded classified material to War Thunder, that's why we have these laws in place. So that they stop doing that shit. <laughs> I would did not do that. <laughs> yeah, nor would I. But yeah, that's a great example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, looks like we're done. Oh, there was a Romeo out there. There was a submarine we never even saw. That's crazy. Oh, what do we get? Oh, we got the Bronze Star. Look at that. Fourth ad in a row. You're lucky you didn't get seven. That's what we should do. We should run a contest for who's gotten the most ads at once. They still plan on invading Taiwan. What? From Nin Bao. I'm not sure where that's at. It sounds like it's in China, though. Where's Nin Bao? Oh, it's the north. Oh, uh oh. We got snuck up on. We got crep on. They be creeping. All right, new sonar contact bearing 028, designate Sierra 1. We're at periscope depth doing five knots, heading north. There's a broken strong breeze, broken cloud cover, strong breeze. No surface duct. Who oh, knew? No. On sonar, new contact so let's bearing. Let's do that. Ship for ultra quiet. Con sonar new contact bearing. Multiple One, contacts. Two, seven, designated Sierra. So two. for the first few minutes, like we're not gonna do anything. Con we're just gonna listen and see what's going bearing. on out there. Zero, five, nine, designated Sierra three. My viewer says hello Jive, long time no see. Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Shoo Newt says, would you know of any individuals that may have built a hydroacoustic array for personal interest. Also, might you have any advice for people thinking of such a project? I know some uh, aquariums uh, have built and deployed their own personal uh, hydrostatic arrays uh, in the Queen Sound. It's that sound between Washington State and Canada. What's that called? Oh, it's gonna bug me now. Hold on a second. Uh. Sorry, but I need to know this now. This is the most important thing in my life for just a few seconds. What's the name of the sound? Victoria sound? There you go. Victoria sound. There is a privately owned SOSIS, essentially, you know, hydrophone array in the Victorian sound to monitor wildlife. So yes, I am aware of one. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> Why? Do you want to I'm sure they need help. If you if you're if you're good at running sonar systems, I'm sure they'd love to have you. Yep. Listen, I didn't spend 20 years on submarines to be running no aquarium SOSA system, alright? I'm not doing it. I track Russians. Or spoken Chinese these days back in my day the Russians were the bad guys now it's the China man <laughs> uh, embassy clerks here hey man what the hell are you doing here yeah so what we're doing is we're just waiting you see how the classifications getting better for each of these we're just gonna give them just a few minutes here there's three contacts one's really close Sonar thinks he's really close. Let's see how close this is. Sonar says he's 4,000 yards away. Like that, that's like, well, 5,000. That's, that's like two and a half miles. In naval terms, that's really freaking close. So let's do a left 10 degree rudder. Uh, let's total water depth. Okay, let's do 10 degree down. Turns with 10 degree one, negative. Zero, Oops, 10 degree negative. There we go. 10, 10, and 10. 
Recon. We're just going to turn away from Sierra 1. He's one, zero, if, if that's nine. the bad guy, we're in trouble. Oh, and we don't want to put Sierra 2 in the baffles. So we're going to go with uh, 120. So 310. Sierra 1 is classified as passing 100 feet. We're going to put Sierra 2 on the edge of the baffles. So we need to steady up around 3. We'll, we'll say 330. Three, That'll keep him out of the baffles by a little bit. There's the Romeo. That's our primary target. Sierra 2 might be a submarine as well. So we'll just. Yeah, I know. I'm watching our course. We're passing 340 to the left, 10 degrees from order course. 10 degree left rudder. Passing 200 feet. All right, here we go. Ba -ba -ba -da. Steady she goes. Con sonar, Sierra 2. All right, so that's a civilian urgent. vessel. We're going to have to be careful with this attack. Crap. Uh, let's see. Lumen Ghost says, do you have any experience with Russian sub encounter that I'm able to share with you? No. I'm not allowed to talk about my career at all, pretty much anymore. Especially that. Yeah. Like those of you that have heard my stories from 2017, I don't have a time machine. I can't go back and undo that, but I certainly cannot do that anymore. That is for sure. Uh, not never going to happen again. And I, and I'm not joking. That's really the way it is now. Sorry. Um, see congruent is here. He says, I don't know if this went through earlier, but I'm going to best what basic enlisted submarine school in three months. Uh, for sub IDC school. Well, congratulations on uh, the independent duty corpsman uh, is great duty. Um, and you could have gone with the Marines as you already know, but you chose submarines, which means you're going to have a, you're going to one, you're going to make chief petty officer right away. First time up. Um, the one thing that you cannot fuck up. Okay. This is so important. And um, yeah, and it's just one thing you can make all the mistakes in the world you want. Do not screw up uh, reading the reactor dust symmetry that each crewman wears. You cannot screw those records up. You cannot lose a dosimeter. You cannot make any mistakes. There is zero forgiveness in that. That will ruin your career. As long as you keep the dosimetry records updated properly and you never lose or have any problems with it, you will... You will be promoted if you're not already to chief petty officer your first year on board. Um, and then, um, you know, you, you can go on to shore duty after that and be a senior chief somewhere. So you have a promising career. Who is that? Congruent Carp 94. Congratulations, my dude. Congratulations on making chief if you haven't already, because that is a foregone conclusion. Not that it's handed to you. You still have to earn it. Right. But congrats, my dude. All right, we're in the Romeo's baffles, which means I'm going to do the attack a little bit early here. Um, boom, let's go. Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. That's the new firing point procedures. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's symmetry. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Don't screw around with the glowy bits. Yeah, yeah. Am I still able to talk about hiding doors? Probably. Yeah, I can tell those stories. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as merchant. Yep. We should make a uh, a game and sell it on Steam, where you hide the door in a submarine and you have this angry, you know, EXO officer stomping around. And if he finds you or the door, the game's over. It's like a horror game. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's, but on submarine, and you got to hide the door. Yeah, yeah. That's what we should do. All right, I'm going to move out this enable point so I don't accidentally hit the ship here. We got a little lucky that the Romeo turned away from us and put us in his baffles because now he has no idea this, this weapon's about to wax him here. <sighs> Hide the Exo's doors, the new version of Doom. Yeah. Hmm, excuse me. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra 1. 
Well, he might hit this ship. This is this will be interesting. <laughs> Romeo versus Sea Wolf is bullying. It's true. God, Listen, I didn't pick the fight. Fire. Okay, the fight chose me. We're going to make sure this uh, weapon hits the Romeo, weapon countermeasure homing. and then we're going to run like hell. Oh, no. Con sonar lost oh, wow, contact. Hit him. Sierra, one. Make turns for three. Five. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, I forgot we were at periscope depth. Three, Crap. Five, zero feet, dive I forgot we were shallow. <laughs> Somebody should tell me these things. One, zero, I can't do this zero, myself. Eight, die, I need an adult. Oh well. We might have to evade this one torpedo. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Oh yeah, the thawing process of the wood panel door. It completely ruined the fake wood on it. Yeah, I was really in trouble for that. That was really dumb. I shouldn't have froze it. Uh, it's not like I froze it intentionally. I hit it in the chill box. Or the freezer. I think it was the chill box. Yeah. Because me and the cooks were tight. They were like, listen, he'll never find it in here because we won't let him go in the chill box. I was like, okay. And it worked. He didn't find it. <laughs> Door was frozen. <laughs> it's like a popsicle. Oh, God. Mm. See, the prop with the 688 where I did that on is the Exo's door is right across from the door to the combat equipment space, which is the door I have to go to every time I go on watch. And the Exo always keeps his door open. So I'm coming up the ladder. Hey, Exo, I'm going to work every 18 hours. And every 18 hours, he had something to do, something to tell you, like, hey, have you checked this? Um, I need this report. We don't we don't have this yet. I'm like, OK, I'll, I'll get that done. He's like, yeah, yeah, you will. Matter of fact, get it done before you go back to the rack. So I didn't sleep very much after that. And I knew why. Yeah, he was pissed. Yeah, he was very angry at me. Like, it would have been not as bad if I, the door wasn't damaged. Because that's kind of like the unwritten rule is you can have fun and screw around on halfway night. But you can't damage anything. That's not cool. That's not allowed. I think the only reason why I didn't get, like, in real trouble is I didn't mean to. I claimed ignorance. <laughs> I was like, listen, I'm, I'm dumb. Okay? This, this is why I'm not the XO. You are. I, I just, I, I played to his ego. <laughs> There's like, there was like a pile of chem wipes under his door that were always wet because as it thawed out, it condensed the moisture and, oh yeah. Guess who was responsible for, for replacing those, by the way? This guy. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I was doing, if I was sleeping, they'd come and wake me up. Exo says you got to replace the chem wipes under his door. Okay. Yeah, that was a thing. Uh, we can laugh about it now. We can laugh about it now. Actually, we kind of laughed about it then, too. The XO was the only one that didn't laugh about it. I think maybe he secretly laughed about it, but he didn't laugh about it. All right, we got new contact again. Zoner's busy. I'm over here telling sea stories. New contact bears 263. Sierra 1. XO reports uh, we're at Periscope Depth. Heading southwest, five knots. So this guy's off our starboard bow. Very weak surface duct at one, two, nine feet. Tubes are loaded. Let's go. Let's see what we got. On sonar, new contact bearing. Two, six, three. I'm not a carpenter. How was I supposed one. to know I can't freeze your door? Yeah. Yeah, it was that on fake sonar, wood laminate, too. Bearing. It was three, oh, five, nasty. seven, designated Sierra. Rig ship for ultra quiet. 
Con, sonar, new contact bearing, two, six, zero, designated Sierra, three. Yeah, I swear, whenever I was in the Navy, I was like my own worst, uh, I don't know, friend, <laughs> enemy, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I got myself in more trouble than anybody else got me in. I can't talk about my naval career a few moments later to talk about the excess door. Well, yeah, I can talk about like that. Right? I can't talk about tracking the, the Ruskies. I'm not allowed to talk about that anymore. It happened. I suppose I could say that. That's about it. Freezer should pull moisture out of the door. Uh oh. Poking holes in my story now. I don't know. Chipper says uh, the Exo door story is a classic always. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, let's go 10 degrees down and flood ballast. We're going to get below this layer here. How long was the door stolen for? One day. Uh, it was all halfway night shenanigans, which is a 24 hour period of where people can practical joke. And then there's like movies burning and cruise mess for the full 24 hours. Think of it like Mardi Gras, but for a submarine. So quiet. Passing Mardi Gras. 100 feet. Oh no. Yeah. Locking the door in the reactor compartment would have been very bad. Oh, God, we wouldn't have been able to put it back. <laughs> we would have been like, well, th this is our life now. The Exo's door is in the reactor compartment forever. <laughs> Sorry, Exo, you don't have a door anymore. Oh, man. Passing 200 you managed feet. to warp the door after only 24 hours but the funny thing is is whenever we got the door out of the uh, freezer it was frozen for sure it was frozen solid but it wasn't really warped it didn't warp until it started thawing out that's when the warping came in yeah and all the moisture and stuff whatever was in that door started coming out the bottom yeah Rickover might have rose back up and get I know yeah well one the, the nukes would have never allowed me to put anything in the reactor compartment. And I don't know anything about nuclear power, but I know Passing I don't want to be putting anything feet. in the reactor compartment. Right. I know that. I know that much. Yeah, that was never an option. Uh, you prefer the active transmit story? Yeah, I'd take that one down too. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all down. The funniest thing about the ping video was the sound effects that I had added to it. <laughs> I really got a, I giggled every time I heard that. Yeah. Passing 400 feet. The fun police were out in force, it seems. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, you don't want to put any, it's the fun police didn't stop us from putting stuff in the reactor compartment. That's common sense, you know? Yeah. Am I familiar with the unknown submerged contact engaged during the Falkland Island War? Oh, no, I'm not familiar with that at all. Passing 500 feet. Was not there. I was in middle school when that happened. Oh, with my situation, yeah. Yeah, it, think of a Karen asking for the store manager, but on a much larger scale. Yeah. So some Somebody wanted to fuck with me, and they did. They were successful. But there's processes and, and safeguards in place now where they can't do that to me again. But the sad thing is, what they've done to me over the last six months, they, did, they can do to anyone else. If you want to screw with somebody by accusing them of something... Uh, you can do it, and there's no repercussions. Yeah, all you can do is go through the process, right? It sucks. It sucks when it happens to you. 
that it all worked out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it all worked out. And I, and I knew it would. There was just that one off chance is what if I'm wrongly convicted? Ugh. But that was such a minute. You know, say, say what you will about the United States and corruption and all that exists. When it comes to the legal system, it's still pretty solid. So, yeah. I had that, I had that going for me. Sorry, I had to go through that. Yeah, it sucked. It was really stressful. ARGs detected an unknown submerged contact near their fleet. It was a Royal Navy sub, but later intelligence showed there was no Royal Navy sub in the area. Any chance it could have been another nation? I have no idea. I didn't even know about this chipper until you brought it up in chat. I mean, there's always a chance if you think of like all the world of possibilities. I mean, there's infinite space, which means there's infinite chances, which makes everything possible. So the answer is yes. There you go. Yes. The answer is yes. Whether or not it was in this reality, I'm not sure. But there is a reality out there where that happened. Whew. All right. I just want to play video games, man. You guys are fucking with my head. Okay. So we've got to make this maneuver. We've gone a couple minutes in a straight course. We've got a bearing on everybody and kind of a direction of motion. So I want to turn so that nobody's in the baffles. So we're going to do this maneuver back to the north here. Come right to three, five, eight. Helm, I. Bum, bum, ba, da. Yeah, we're waiting for the affidavit to be made public today, if anyone knows. If it's been released... Let me check real quick. Oh, I'm going to bring this up here so the stream doesn't stop. Uh, Sometime in the next two hours, uh, the affidavit should be released. I'm checking right now. There's new information, but I don't know if that means it's been released. Con sonar, Sierra One is classified as. Oh, there's the Han right submarine. there. We're gonna shoot that guy. So the new information is is that the FBI waited for Donald Trump to leave Mar Largo before executing the search warrant. So I guess he was there when the search warrant, warrant was approved. And then the FBI, instead of, because they didn't want to, I guess, have a conflict with him there, waited for him to leave the property and then they moved in. Okay, that's the new information. It's still not released yet though. Yeah. Yeah, I can't read the Wall Street Journal uh, story it says that i need to create an account or something and i'm not doing that i'm not i don't want to read the wall street journal so badly that i'm going to create an account <laughs> yeah emperor we don't know any of that yeah they haven't come out and said anything like the the department of justice you know they work in um well, they work outside. They, they, they don't publicize everything they do. And that's just really to protect everybody, including themselves. So them even releasing the uh, affidavit and uh, if and maybe the search warrant, maybe that too. All that's going to be. Uh, it's only because everybody agreed to it. Like if Trump had not gone on to his um, social media and had announced the search warrant, you know, uh, somebody would have noticed. Because I think there was like a local news reporter there in West Palm Beach that actually broke the story locally. Yeah, that's true. Con, hell, uh, I don't know who course. she was to give her credit, but she was like, there's a lot of activity at Trump's residence. And then within the next hour, everybody else had the story. Yeah. Breitbart got it. Okay. Yeah, once, once the affidavit's released, I'll read it. I may not read it live on air. I don't know, but I'll definitely read it just because I'm curious as to 
what what were they by name looking for you know we think we know but we really don't until that's released what's sierra 2 that's what i want Gone sonar that's sierra a 2 is classified as all right so our target is the han let's get down to a good evasion depth because he is definitely going to counter fire on us so we're going to come down to, let's go down to like 900 feet. Let's go seven, let's go to 700 feet. Make depth seven, zero, zero, and we're going to go to 15 knots. Make turns for one, five knots. Yep. Maneuvering eye. Fuck. Um, that's, the, this is the screen I was looking for. Oh, we still don't know what CR3 is. Making turns for one, five So let's see if we knots. can, uh. Let's see if we can maintain track of CR3 at 15 knots. That would be nice if we could do that. CR3 might be another submarine. So we got to be careful about what we're doing. My viewer says, what do I think about raiding Trump's place? Uh, I, I think it was a, uh, a legal execution of a valid Consonar search warrant. Sierra 3 that's that's, is classified as that's how I think of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it is a it's a Chinese surface ship, so we're fine. Matter of fact, we're we're in the Han's baffles too. What's the range to the Han now? Fifteen thousand yards. This is a we should shoot. All right, uh, we're gonna take his variance. Variance is what two four zero, so three three zero. We'll say three four zero. Come left two. We come left three four zero, and we're gonna shoot the Han. We'll even slow down to 10 knots so we don't break the wire. Make turns for one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. I may speed back up again, but I want to try to keep this wire if we can. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one, zero are, knots. You aren't manually classifying contacts? No. The game just does it. Yeah, this is not really a simulator. Not at all. All right, let's, let's put the able point down to 12,000 yards here. Are we steady on course? We are. Shoot two two. I'm gonna shoot Aye, two sir. two. Pew pew, that's right, Emperor. The game is built with Seaman Jones as the AI, yeah. I guess. I mean, it, it eventually classifies the contacts. It just takes a few minutes. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at. So this is a, it's a fun little game. It's, it's like five years old. Um, you can find it on Steam. It's just as good as any other game out there right now. When did I start playing Cold Waters? June 6th, 2017. Hard to believe it's been five years. Yeah, yeah, five years. I, I can't believe we haven't had a good naval game in five years. Con sonar, like this is the last good Sierra naval one. game, in my opinion. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra. One. Yeah, I mean, Ultimate Con Admiral, sonar, we're, from we're on the Sierra sea. Those one. are all hot messes. Modern naval warfare is ever going to be released? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, that game is so far from even being anywhere near complete. I don't think, I don't think the people making it know if it's ever going to be finished. Yeah. Like I tried to get an interview with the developers 
I was working Tom's with the publisher to try and get an interview with the developers, and even the publisher said, it's way too early for interviews. So when the publisher tells you that, it's years away. Years. I, I may not be alive when that game comes out. We may see Elder Scrolls 6 before that game comes out. Cellophane, did you get three ads? Man, you got off light. Yeah, yeah. The most ads we've seen today is someone said they had seven ads. Now, he might have been rounding up a little bit, I'm just saying. When you joined, you got six? What? All right. Well, thank you for watching six ads for me, Bolt Coyote. Given you're in my age, upcoming GTA, the last GTA seen our last time? Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed uh, GTA 3 when it came out because that was like the 1980s music and stuff. And I enjoyed the music more than the game, really. But I love just cruising around in that game, listening to all the 80s hits. That, that was good times, man. That was good times. Boom. K Wolf, thanks for the 18 month Risa. Appreciate that. Then they go back to playing modded Silent Hunter games. Yeah, yeah. I really I played the hell out of Silent Hunter 2, uh, which was a Microprose title. Silent Hunter 3, I think, uh, was under Ubisoft, but I played the hell out of Silent Hunter 3 as well. Silent Hunter 3 might be my favorite uh, World War II submarine game. Kind of goes back and forth between 3 and 4. And then Silent Hunter 5 is just, we don't even talk about that one. That one was off the rails. That one wasn't so much a submarine simulator as it was a workload management simulator. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Yeah, like, how do we take this game and make it not fun? Silent Hunter 5. Uh, let's see. Con, HT1 Silent says the late Barry. 70s and two, all the 80s two, were the best three. times to be a kid. Yeah, I would agree with that. I here, Here's my, my problem. Is the 70s and 80s Con, were probably the most... Like, the worst time of my life was when I was a kid. It was bad. But that's not because of the 70s and 80s. That's because I had a irresponsible, chemically addicted parent that never found a dick she didn't like. So, but I can't blame the 80s for that. Con sonar, noise maker, Boom, we got the two, two, one. All right, let's get out of here, boys. Make turns for three, five, nine. That's because I was in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I remember the 70s in Florida was like super cold in the wintertime. It wasn't like it is today. Um, we, we, we actually had snow one year. It was like 76 or 77. It snowed in Florida. I was like, holy cow. Yeah, the guy didn't know what hit him. That's true. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing two nine three contact faded. We do have one torpedo Con coming sonar at us. Lost contact. We'll Sierra, see if we get two, away from it here. Last bearing three zero four contact faded. It snowed in 2017 in Florida. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We tend to go through these cycles, right, where it gets cold some winters and stays hot others. This summer has been crazy hot. Even up here in Michigan, it's been pretty warm. I, I was telling, um, I think it was on Discord. I don't think I was on stream. I was telling somebody that it was like 94% humidity like a week ago. And that's insane. That's like walking into a shower or a sauna. Maybe that's a better example, sauna. If you have a wet sauna full of steam, that's like 100% that's like humidity. So imagine a steam room with just a little less steam. <laughs> and that's up here in Michigan, man. I can't imagine the rest of the country. The rest of the country must have been terrible. Uh, let's see here. Texas, yeah. Texas hot is a descriptive term. Like, that's definitely an adjective that's accurate. Texas can be nasty hot. 
Did the torpedoes go away? Con maneuvering. They Making did. Turns four, oh. three, five, not. Leave combat. We sank a Han. And that was it. All right. We're going to save this here and take a short break. And then I'm going to be right back. We're going to do a sponsored stream.